What is up, Minuteman fans? I'm Sean Oldred. This episode of UMass Film Breakdowns brought to you by Outside Amherst, Midnight Ride Collective Podcast. Listen to the pod, donate to the collective. It starts right here. Minuteman pick up a win in week zero. So awesome to see. It starts right here with Michael Pong's pick. Tyler Martin is what I want to watch off the edge, though, right here. He brings pressure, forces Pavia to make a quick decision. A Pong tips it up in the air, comes down with it, and is able to take this back uh, and puts the Minuteman offense in great field position here. They're able to go in, punch it in for six, uh, which we'll see right here. All right, moving right along, Minutemen on offense here at the 10-yard line. We're going to see Tyus on Pumachan send Anthony Simpson in motion right off the edge. But what I really want to point out here is Gino Campiotti makes a fantastic block on the edge here to seal his man. Uh, it allows Simpson to have one guy to beat, and he just beats him to the corner of the end zone. All right, Minutemen back on defense here. This is not going to go the way UMass fans want it to go. Uh, Monte Watkins hits the hole here, and he is absolutely gone. Quickly here, we're going to see a hold on Isaiah Rutherford on the outside. He makes that tackle. If he's not being held, refs miss it. You know what? No big deal because of the way this game turns out. But it is a little frustrating. The big plays are a bit of a concern for me with this Minutemen defense. We'll see them give up a few here. Minutemen back on offense here. We're going to see Pumachan motion Sean Harris to the right here, which is going to open up this end-around play for Anthony Simpson. On the last play, the last touchdown we saw, Anthony Simpson score. It was an end-around there. This one's just a different look at that same play pretty much. Results in a first down for UMass. Simpson sets up the Minutemen, getting three points there. New Mexico State comes back down. They get three points, half ends. Now, we're going to see Pumachan drop back here, start the third quarter. He delivers a strike to Simpson on a crossing route. Not trying to do too much here. Makes the simple throw, easy play, Minutemen first down. All right, on this next play, we've got third and four here. This is a really big opportunity for the Minutemen here. And Steve Kasula says, we're going to put the ball in the hands of our best player, Tyson Pumachan. Pumachan, pump fake there, able to go through a massive hole, a massive hole by this offensive line. I can't stress how good they were in this game, really. Ethan Mottinger able to get to the second level there. Gino Campiotti coming through, playing the fullback position there. He also throws a block, able to get Pumachan enough for the first down. All right, right here, Minutemen continuing to drive down the field here. We're going to see Pumachan start to move Anthony Simpson in motion, but take note of Gino Campiotti's split tight end right here. Pumachan, a couple steps in the drop back, steps up in the pocket, and he just delivers a nice ball to Gino Campiotti. Not trying to do too much, taking what the defense has given him. This is what we haven't seen from a UMass quarterback in a long time. Minimum wrap it up there. They get three points. Going down, New Mexico State in the red zone now. Third and three. Huge play right here. Watch Tyler Martin. He's the outside linebacker right here. He's creeping up towards the line of scrimmage pre-snap. He shoots the A-gap, makes contact with the running back, brings down Pavia, not allowing him to make his option at all. This is a great, great play, solving their problems with aggression. It's a Don Brown staple, bringing pressure on third down. Expect to see more of this as the season goes on. The Minutemen don't allow any points uh, there. New Mexico State ended up missing a field goal. Now we got the Minutemen back on offense. We're going to see Tyson Pumachan. He motions Sean Harris again. That motion is something we're going to see a lot of, I think, this year. Pumachan steps back in the pocket, steps back up. He just delivers a really nice ball in between a couple of New Mexico State defenders to Christian Wells. Christian Wells breaking a couple tackles there, getting guys to miss. He just kind of runs out of steam here uh, and is able to be brought down. Biggest Minutemen play of the day, though. Right here, if you watch Christian Wells at Appalachian State, uh, this is kind of what he does. He just makes big plays, um, huge chunk plays is what he did there. Uh, he's going to do the same thing for the Minutemen. Going to be a huge deep threat, I think, this year for UMass. All right, here we are, Minutemen in the red zone here. We're going to see Tyus on Pumachan. He's going to move Anthony Simpson out to his left here uh, in motion. I really like this. It confuses the defense because they're still thinking about that last end-around touchdown that Simpson scored, uh, and they're not trying to let that happen again. So Puma Chan rolls out to his right. He talks to it. He runs. He punches it in. Tyus on Puma Chan, Minutemen quarterback of the future. He's got this year. He's got a year left after that. It's going to be awesome here. Uh, the Tyus and Puma Chan show in Amherst. All right. So I didn't have too many complaints about the defense. They played a really good three quarters here. But this is where things start to get dicey here. We're going to see Diego Pavia drop back. He's going to deliver a deep ball there uh, to Trent Hudson. It's a good pass. It's a good ball by Pavia, but it is frustrating. The Minutemen should not be allowing this to happen. You can't allow two guys to get behind you. It's a weird, awkward kind of broken play, I know. But Jordan Mahoney's in on that. He gets burnt again later in the game. It's a little bit of a cause for concern, if I'm a Minuteman fan, that they may be prone to give up the big play. Played really good defense for three quarters here, uh, but this fourth quarter does get a little dicey. UMass back on offense here. Tyson Pumachan. He's got three out to the left. He's got a running back in the backfield. This is just a basic option play. He's got... The opportunity to either tuck it or run or hand it off to the back here. He decides to tuck it and run. Makes a great decision here. This is because New Mexico State's got five guys down at the line of scrimmage there. He just realizes that those guys are all going to kind of crush inwards. 
uh, leaves him some space on the outside. He's able to tuck it and get a first down. Huge, huge first down for you, Matt. Here we go. Minutemen continue to move the ball here, but we've got a massive fourth and seven here. About nine minutes left in the game. Pumachan takes the snap. He looks up. New Mexico State gets good pressure on him, as you can see there. Guy's collapsing in on him, but he keeps his eyes downfield, makes a move, steps up, and he's able to get that first down. It's a huge one. Brought everybody out of their seats, slides down, gets right about to the goal line here. Biggest play of the game right here, made by Tyus on Pumachan. Minutemen in the red zone here at the 10-yard line. They're set back a little bit by a false start call. But here we go. New Mexico State, they've got a lot of guys on that defensive front right now, a lot of guys in the box. Anthony Simpson moving in motion. It's going to freak New Mexico State out. They already saw this, almost the same formation. But instead, we're going to get an option play here. Puma Chan's got the decision to make, whether or not he's going to tuck and run or hand it off to Kieran Lynch Adams. Hands it off. Then he goes and throws this awesome block out here. Just buys Lynch Adams a half second there. He's able to beat the New Mexico State defenders to the goal line, and it results in six for the Minutemen, an absolutely huge, huge play. 27-17 to 17 here, Minutemen back on defense. Diego Pavia is going to drop back here, and he's just going to make a bad throw. This is a bad decision on his part. You see Isaiah Rutherford split out wide there, uh, covering the wide out. He's going to come off his man, come up, make this pick. Really, really nice play by Rutherford. Really bad throw by Pavia. Results in six for the Minutemen. Rutherford's going to take it all the way back. Arizona transfer. Really replacing what was Josh Wallace's role. He's going to be huge for this Minutemen defense all this year. Uh, watch out for Isaiah Rutherford. Special teams. It's a third of the game right here. We're going to see New Mexico State run a very, very nice fake punt here. It's the only real lapse by this UMass special teams that they had, which, you know, knock on wood, the Minutemen special teams have been absolute garbage over the last couple of years. So it was nice to see them not make many mistakes, but this is a big one here. They give a fourth and seven. New Mexico State able to continue driving. All right, so here's where, again, my cause for concern for this defense is giving up the big play here. We're going to see Pavia drop back. He's going to deliver a really good ball, but also to an open receiver here. Jordan Mahoney gets burned again, and this is the issue that I have. We're going to see this again uh, on the replay right here, and he tries to get up and press coverage, and he never gets his hands actually on the guy. You can see him out there on the left. He never gets his hands on him. He's able to just run right by him. He beats him with his speed. Mahoney's not able to actually play the ball very well there either. That's a little bit of a cause for concern. He's supposed to be, you know, your best returning defensive player. Uh, and he had a tough game against New Mexico State. Look for him to bounce back, though, against Auburn. After the New Mexico State score, they're going to attempt the onside kick. Special teams has had its issues uh, in the past for UMass, but really nice job by Greg DeRozier. Jump on that ball, cover it up. Special teams made a lapse earlier, made up for it right here. New Mexico State gets the ball back here. 34-24. They need points here. Only 248 left in the game. Minutemen, a lot of defensive backs on the field right here. They're only going to rush three. And what we see right here, Marcus Bradley totally beats the guard. The guard can't even get his hands on him. The tackle's got to take him one-on-one -on -one there. Zakudu aguenu has got uh, the tackle and a running back trying to block him. Doesn't matter. He comes up. He forces that ball loose. Billy Wooden, the defensive vet's able to fall on it there. Really impressive stuff by this Minutemen. Uh, Frontier, only rushing three, and we're able to get pressure on the quarterback. Force that ball out. And that pretty much iced the game right there. Uh, when they were able to force that fumble. And just a few plays later, after the Billy Wooden recovered fumble, we're going to see Tyus on Pumachan. He's going to have the option right here to hand it off to Kieran Lynch Adams. But look at this offensive line. They're all up. They all got their hands on their defenders. Nobody is getting through. We see no penetration here. And he's going to give it to Lynch Adams. Lynch Adams is going to bounce outside, cut it upfield, and he's going to punch it in for six. Game over. Minutemen up big. After that UMass score... New Mexico State was able to drive down the field a little bit. Minutemen playing a lot of prevent defense, not letting anybody get behind them, being able to play. Pavia rolls out. He lobs this one up. Trent Hudson comes down with it. I think Isaiah Rutherford's not trying to commit a penalty right there, extend this game any longer. Either way, it's going to end up with a Minutemen W, 41-30 to final score against New Mexico State. Again, listen to Outside Amherst. Donate to the collective. You're helping the program by doing both of those things. I'm Sean Oldred. This has been another UMass Film Session.